You know, we spoke to uh, one of your peers, Annie Haslam of Renaissance, and um, she was just commenting on the popularity of Renaissance in the northeastern part of the United States. Now, I attended several Jethro Tull concerts, as you did, David, at Madison Square Garden and, and uh, Nassau Coliseum. Why did the United States, do you think, embrace Jethro Tull, which is such a, a British band? And, and really, I mean, you started off as a blues band. And a matter of fact, I think, David, today on December 20th, according to the Rock History books, uh, Glenn Cornick and Ian Anderson left the John Evans Blues Band to form Jethro Tull. So if you want to put that one in your calendar. But why, why do you think Jethro Tull was so uh, embraced by American audiences all these years? I think there were certain acts from the UK that became, became very uh, popular because, of, because they weren't, we have a phrase in, in England, taking coals to Newcastle, Newcastle being a, a mining town. So taking right. coal to, you know, it's, 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 it's a, if you were coming to the USA and you, you were sounding like a West Coast um, surfing band, I mean, forget it. <laughs> it would, they've already got that there. They, they don't want to hear somebody else pretending to do it. And I think the same thing probably, you know, I felt the same thing would apply with, with blues as well, that, you know, we, we would be better off trying to forge our own musical identity outside any obvious um, musical genre that, that um, you know, might mean we were just imitating or, or just treading the same old ground again. And, and mm -hmm. so the bands that were successful were bands that... that Tended to bring something new to to the uh, to the to live performance, particularly. So, started off really, I suppose, with um, in terms of other than Herman's Hermits and the Beatles, you know, apart from the <laughs> pop groups, um, Cream were the the band that really really brought um, a kind of progressive blues sound to uh, to the USA. And you know, quite frankly, they didn't care whether you liked them or you didn't. They were just going to go there. They were going to do the show their way and get the hell out of out of there and and um, you know get get out of get get out of Dodge and stash the money in a you know in a in a in a bank somewhere far away. Same thing with Led Zeppelin the following year. You know they they came in. They didn't care whether you liked them or not. They they barnstormed their way across the USA, and on their coattails Jethro Tull arrived. And and you know frankly. I, had the same attitude i didn't expect america was going to like jethro tell and i didn't you know i didn't didn't really matter to me whether we were successful or not because i it's a long way from home it would matter if we weren't doing okay in the uk or even in some european territories but i didn't didn't matter to me that you know if we weren't successful in the usa and i think that attitude of just not caring too much somehow means that the audience realize that you are not trying to please them. You're just okay. there doing what you do in a very direct and honest way. And you're not setting out to try in a calculated way to, to uh, win their, their, their approval and their um, affinity. <laughs>